Hey everybody, so I've put it off long enough. Let's finish out our menus and tackle our skill tree. So I'm going to double click and open it up. And the first thing I want to do in here is right click my backdrop, duplicate it, drag it over. I'm going to scale it down for our little title display thing, whatever you want to call it. Move it in place. Let me a little big. Let's Right there looks good. Drag it down so it overlaps a little bit. Don't want no gap between it. That looks good. I'm going to drag a text block out. And I'm going to set its text to be skill tree. I'm going to set it to be italic. Compile that. And that looks good. I'm going to right click the backdrop again, move it over, scale it down this way, lift the bottom up a little bit, and pull the top down, and I'm going to scoot it back. I want it down just a little bit because I'm going to have text up here because we're going to have three skill trees, one for our combat, one for our magic, and one for our survival system. So I'm going to scale this one down just a little bit more, and then I'm going to set its color and opacity. Right now it's all zero, but I'm going to set the green to zero, 0 0.01 and the blue to 0 0.07, because it gives that nice blue. I like Final Fantasy almost. I like it. That looks maybe a little bit wider. All right, then I'm going to duplicate it, drag it over. I want to make sure that the offset from the top is about the same, which is 70 point that, 70 point that, alright. Then I'm going to duplicate one more time, and drag it over, drag it back just so that it kind of matches the first one's width, and then I'll line this one up to be in between them. That looks about right. It looks close enough anyway. So now I'm going to grab my skill tree text. I'm going to duplicate it. Drag it over above the first one. Change it to combat. I'm going to set its justification to align to center. And change it to change its typeface from italic to light. I'm going to drop it down just a little bit, then duplicate, drag it over, let's see, 160, 160, and I'm going to change this one to say magic, duplicate. Drag it all the way over, position Y, we want it to be the same as the other ones, which if I'm not mistaken, yep, it is, it's good. And then I'm going to change this one to Survival. So now, let's drag out a button. I'm going to set its size on the X to 75 and on the Y. And that might be a bit big, let's do 50-50. I want to set its draw as to image on the normal, the hovered, and the pressed. Now on, whoa, on hovered, we want to get the tint and change the V to about 0.1. That way when we scroll over it, it'll you know, do what it's supposed to. Actually, we have to put text in here, that's right. So let's drag out our text block. And then we'll resize our button to fit that text block. So, so now I want to set the text on the first one. Let me get my list real quick. I made a list of all the things we're going to uh, increase for each one. So, first one will be max. 
health. I'm gonna change it. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I'm gonna change it to light and change its size to about 20 so that it fits inside our button. Then, then now we can just duplicate it. So I'll duplicate that one, drag it down and in line with the other one. Let's see, 1040. Oops. Yeah, 1040 and 1040. 224 to 296. Let's set this to 225 and then 300. Just so we know there's 75 points in between each button. Now this one I'm going to set to max stamina. Max stam, we'll know what that means. You can change these to be you can put images on this or you know whatever you want. I'm just putting text right now. Um, so I'm going to duplicate that, set its X position to 1040, and its Y to 375, so that we know there's 75 points in between. Let's see. Let's just change this to a plus sign sword, because this will just improve our sword ability. Duplicate. Scroll to the new one, 1040, 375 plus 75 would be 450, and then I will change its text to plus shield, and that's not how you spell shield at all, plus shield, shile. Now we'll duplicate it one more time, grab the newest one, 1040 by 525. It barely fits. I'm gonna drag this down just a little bit. Set its offset bottom to 110. Offset bottom. Oh. Make sure they're all the same length. <coughs> Sorry about that. And we'll change the last one's text to plus potion. Plus H potion. And that'll increase our health potion potency. So, another thing we want to do real quick is we'll grab our combat text, we'll duplicate that, and we want to drag it down to the bottom. And type in skill points so that we know how many skill points we have available. Duplicate that one more time. We'll drag it over to the other side, and we'll just set it to zero for now, and it's justification to align to right. Let's make sure they're in line with each other. So it's 1044 and 616. 616. 616 being the one we want to match up. We'll adjust this in just a minute. So now for our magic, we want to just duplicate this. Drag the other one over in place. We want to set its Y position to 225 so that it lines up with the other one. Now for our magic, instead of max health, I'm going to change it to say max mana. Then I'll... wait. Does that look lined up? No, let's change it to about 1275. No, 1270. Just kind of play with the numbers till you find the look you really want. 1270 looks decent. 1268. Nah, 1270. 1270 for my... So I will duplicate that. Go down to my new button. Set it 1270 by... What was it? 300? Yep. And I will set its text to... Fireball. Hmm. Cost. Hey, that fits. Alright, that works. So, fireball cost. So, this will be, it'll affect how much mana it costs to cast fireball. Now, we'll 
duplicate again. Go to the new button, 1270, 375. I'm gonna change it to ice spike cost. I'm gonna just change it to ice cost. That way it fits. Duplicate again, select the new button, just allow the rinse repeat. Let's see, was it 375, so 425? No. 450. This one. Heal amount. So it'll adjust how much our heal spell, spell heals us for. Duplicate. 1270. Let's see, that was 450, so 525. And this one will be plus M potency. So it'll adjust our mana potion. Now, we will duplicate the top one, drag it over. Let's see. Set its Y position to 225. And its X position to 1490 looks like it's going to be pretty good. Yep. I like it. Now for the survival. Um, drain rate. Let's do hunger drain. And this will make it to where our, our hunger drains a little bit less. Like food is more satiating, I guess, would be a good way of describing it. We'll duplicate that button. Go to button 14. 1490 and 225. So, 1490 and 300. We'll just change this to plus meat. So that when we add points into this, we get more meat. Duplicate. New button, 1490, 450, 375, that's my bad. So I'll take away plus meat and plus plants so that we get more plants each time. Duplicate, 1490 by 450, this one is plus or duplicate, select the new one, 1490, and 525, and this one will be plus leather, so that we get more, more leather per, let's rearrange this a little bit, this doesn't really make sense this way, so I'll change that, Change that to leather. Change the top one to plant. And then the second one to meat. Because we're also going to lock these behind. You have to spend a certain amount in each one in order to unlock. We can lower the amount required for these so that you just have to... Mm -hmm. Actually, in the survival tree, we'll just limit to where you can only put, like, one point in each one. Whereas the rest of these, you'll have to spend a certain amount. Actually, you know what? Screw that. It doesn't make sense to do it with this kind of skill tree. If you have a branching skill tree, I'll show you how to make it to where you have to spend a certain amount, and then you can unlock the next row. But for our game right now, we're just going to make it to where you can just pick whichever one you want. That makes more sense for this kind of skill tree. So... Now what we want to do, I'm going to actually increase the size of that text to about 30. Actually, let's check real quick. Inventory. Nah, it's 24. So I'll leave it at 24. Kind of align it. And then just drop this down and make this smaller instead of making this bigger. That looks better. Now what we want to do is get our skill points set up to where it registers. So we'll find our character, right click, edit player BP, 
and under player base stats let's duplicate the base strength or just any of these integers really I'll duplicate it and call it skill points now we want to default that one to zero and in our gain experience function which if you don't have it along the top anymore you can find it over here and double click and it'll open it up but in here every time we increase our character's level we want to just go ahead and kind of move all of this except for those two but we'll move this this way a little bit we will set our skill points do a get drag off integer plus integer and then hook that just like that so that every time we level up we gain a skill point so now in our skill tree we want to go back to where we set our skill point go to its content text and we want to bind that drag out our player reference get skill points and then plug that in like so so good deal let's just test it real quick just to make sure so I'm gonna set up a quick little function real quick just on uh, G key you don't have to follow along with this part if you don't want to gain XP target is self XP to gain I'm gonna set it to 5 so check my menu I need to level up so so now we got that and I have a skill point good deal and now I have two so it's working oh that's just cuz I have knights out here and I haven't set up a, a patrol point for them yet so This fire makes it a little bit hard to select these guys sometimes, but I'll just delete all the knights that I have right here real quick. And just double check. Yeah, so now that error's gone. It's because I didn't have a patrol point for them to check. So we'll save all of that real quick. And in the next one, we'll start setting up the functionality behind the skill tree. So, thanks for stopping by.